वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल यू आर वाचिंग पार्ट वन ऑफ ट्रबल शूटिंग ऑफ वार्निंग हेल्थ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ सीनारियो वेयर अ सर्वर कैन गो इनटू द वार्निंग हेल्थ एंड इन द नेक्स्ट पार्ट वी आर गोइंग टू एनालाइज लॉक्स एंड ट्राई टू डीबक दिस इशू इफ यू आर न्यू टू माई चैनल डोंट फॉर टू चेक आउट माई चैनल फॉर मोर इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियोज रिलेटेड टू वेबलॉजिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एंड सो आर डेवलपमेंट so web logic server can go into warning for multiple reasons like stuck threads or higher socket count or it can go into warning because of data source also so in this video we are going to replicate stuck thread scenario please note that stuck thread can also happen due to multiple reasons in this video we are going to replicate one of them in order to generate stuck threads we will use thread.sleep for that we will write a java class and in that we will write a method and from our osb pipeline we are going to use that uh, java class and uh, we will generate uh, stuck thread scenario by invoking that pipeline so let's do that we'll go to eclipse and create one project let's create one java project i am giving the name as uh, threadsleep click next finish here we are going to create one more class let's give a name to this class and let us create one method here so i'm creating one static method so this is our simple java class and uh, here we have one method and uh, we are going to force our thread to sleep for certain seconds so this class we are going to use in our osp code so let's create one jar file out of it export this as a jar So our jar file has been exported let's go to osb project and uh, there we will use java callout to call this class so this is our osb project we will go to our pipeline and here we are going to use java callout and let us select our jar file here so here we will select our jar file and click okay next finish and here we will choose our java method and here we can give a value so i am giving value in milliseconds so this is 500 seconds click okay so it means uh, our thread is going to wait for 500 seconds let us save and deploy this click okay so our deployment has been finished now let us go to sb console and verify our changes so this is our project let us go to pipeline and uh, we'll go to stage 1 in request pipeline and here you can see we have our java call out uh, deployed and which is going to wait for 500 uh, seconds so here we have uh, tuning tab under configuration and uh, we have one attribute here which is stuck thread max time so after 300 seconds web logic is going to mark our thread as stuck thread so let's reduce this number so that we can replicate our scenario quickly for that you will have to take a log and from 300 i am changing this value to 10 
after 10 seconds weblogic is going to mark our thread as a stuck thread so let's save this and activate changes and for this one we'll have to restart our server as well so let's quickly restart our server our server has been started now let us test our service so for that we are going to use our script which we have used in our previous videos as well so let us go to our script so here is our script let us see this once again so here we are simply using call command to call our service and uh, we are using this credentials to invoke this service so i am going to use watch command to invoke this service so this command is going to invoke this service in every 300 seconds so let us invoke this service and you can see we are not getting any output because our thread is going to stuck for 500 seconds uh, let us go to our server and see if our server is going into warning state or not so here you can see our server has gone into warning state that's it for the part one in the part two of video we are going to analyze logs and uh, see how to uh, identify for what reason server went into warning state so stay tuned for that video if you found this video helpful please like my video subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the further notification don't forget to check rest of the videos for administration and support related activities thank you